Hi. Boy, I'm glad to be home. Professor Wiseman asked me to bring some rare stamps to Mr. Stamp. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. All there. Whew, they're so rare, I, I was nervous I might lose one. <laughs> wow, George, I can't believe you did all that while I was gone. <laughs> you know, I think you broke the world's speed record for making a gigantic mess. George didn't see a gigantic mess. Just a bunch of little messes that look big together. <laughs> George, you have to learn to clean up after yourself, and there is no time like the present. Here's your very own dirt dragon. <laughs> now you can clean up whenever you see a mess. <laughs> See you later, George. Hi, Mr. Stamp. Those rare postage stamps are right here on my... <clears throat> Can I call you back? <clears throat> huh. Wow. George cleaned the whole place, including the rare valuable stamps. That means they're in the vacuum until he empties the bag. Chucky couldn't carry all those small pieces of biscuit at once. <laughs> Lucky for her, her friend George was here. Chucky hoped he would guard the pieces for her. Charky forgot that George didn't speak dog. <laughs> Did a monkey in a cape just take our jacks? <laughs> <laughs> a monkey with a vacuum just vacuumed up my winning lottery ticket. <laughs> George was a happy hero, thinking of all the animals and people he had made happy. Isn't it working? What good is a superhero without a vacuum cleaner? When the bag is filled, you empty it into a garbage can and start again. <laughs> of course. It was time to empty the bag. <laughs> and there was the perfect place to get rid of everything that was in it. George saw everyone he had helped today running towards him. They must be coming to thank him. George, have you emptied this bag at all today? George was happy to be of service. I'm happy to say they're all there. Uh, thanks. George, would you like to vacuum my place? I have lots of valuable, dusty collectibles. Valuable collectibles? Uh, sorry, uh, gotta go now. Bye. <laughs> George! George always liked to visit the men with the yellow hats old neighborhood. And that used to be the bookstore. And look, that's where I saw my very first movie. <laughs> Oh, 
This used to be a great old theater. Maybe someday someone will fix it up. What's going on? Progress, that's what. Wait till you see the unique self-cleaning parking structure I've planned for this site. But this old theater is full of memories. You can't tear it down. Tear down this theater? You're not serious. Look at the beautiful lobby. This bijou's what inspired me to become a doorman in the first place. But it's tired and run down. It's a hopeless, broken old theater. George didn't think it looked hopeless. He'd seen the man with the yellow hat fix things up before. Why couldn't he fix up an old movie theater, too? <laughs> Repair the theater? Us? Right, George. If we don't do it, who will? How about it, Mr. Glass? Let us put on a special screening. We'll show you that this theater is worth preserving. I don't want to go out to a movie. With one of these, why bother? <laughs> but a movie is always more fun on the big screen. It can be a truly unique event. Unique? Hmm. Hi, you're a monkey, aren't you? Uh-huh. Okay, it's a deal. Uh -huh. Great. If you clean up this place and put on a unique, one-of-a-kind show, I'll save the theater. Mr. Glass, I, I promise we'll knock your socks off. Uh -huh. Hey, great work, you two. I can't believe this is the same theater. Wow. Welcome to the Bijou, Mr. Glass. Uh, Isle of Dinosaurs. Seen it a hundred times. No, oh, no. Oh. Enjoy the show. Mm. George will show you to your seat. <laughs> this didn't seem like enough kernels to make popcorn for everyone. the popcorn would never stop. It was time to get help stopping this mess. Hundley wasn't going to let a bag of popcorn and a monkey stop him. Mr. Glass, I'll, I'll, I'll be in the lobby if you'd like to talk. Oh. <laughs> well, what did he think? Now that was unique. I've never sat through anything like it. You folks truly knocked my socks off. <laughs> yes, you've convinced me that this old bijou has got to stay. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, just one thing. Next time, when the volcano erupts, mm. how about a little less salt on the popcorn? <laughs> Thirty feet! Wow! <laughs> wow, Chef Piscetti, with a spaghetti strand that long, you're sure to get in Ginny's world record book. That's our goal. We'll know this afternoon when Ginny herself comes to see it. Ginny, the official world record book lady, is coming here? Yes, and we need to go to town hall now to get back before Ginny comes. 
We're getting permission to enlarge this place. Because once we break the record, the business will kaboom! No, no, no! No, no! no. 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 Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Pasta fajou! It's gonna take hours to untangle this mess. We don't have hours. We are due down at the town hall now. <laughs> sure, George and I can untangle the spaghetti. I'm gonna hurry home to get my record book collection for Ginny to autograph. Hello, you have reached Biscettis. Please leave a tasty message. Steve, are you there? Pick up. I have an important question to ask. George wasn't sure if he should pick up the phone. Pick up the phone! <laughs> so George picked up the phone. Oh, Steve, thank goodness you answered! We need for you to check on something for us, eh? <laughs> yeah, please go outside and tell me how tall the building next to our building is. <laughs> <laughs> George had never measured anything as big as a building. How is he going to do it? Since he knew he was two feet tall, maybe he could use himself as a measuring tool. Okay, that was one George. But how many Georges tall was the building? Let's see, there was one George, two Georges, three Georges, four George. George lost count. If only he had something like that measuring tape. The tape measure was only 20 feet long, but the building was more than 20 feet tall. But how much more? <gasps> now how was George gonna measure the building? If only he had something longer than that tape. Of course, George had a spaghetti strand 30 feet long. George could see that the spaghetti wasn't touching the ground. Which meant it was a little bit shorter than the building. How could he measure the difference? When George held the strand at the top of his head, it reached the ground. That meant the building was exactly one spaghetti strand and one George tall. Tall. Son of the Three stories oh, tall. Way to go. Oh, three stories. I gotta call Nettie and tell her the building next door is three stories tall. So Gnocchi finally got to play with the spaghetti. And Chef Pischetti broke a second record. World's longest cat toy. Oh boy. I have no idea how to use this. But when in doubt, read the instructions. Hmm. I guess there are no instructions. Oh, don't worry. Between a smart man and a smart monkey, we should be able to figure it out. Hello? What? Yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. Sorry, George. Professor Weisman needs me at the museum. They're picking a new shade of yellow for the main hall. I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs> George figured a smart monkey all by himself should be able to work this thing. What 
did Juicy J say he put in that drink? It's got five fruits and vegetables, plus a special secret ingredient. Five fruits and vegetables, and all of them seem to be red. Mm. Apples are red. And peppers. And strawberries. Ooh. And watermelons. George didn't know what cabbage was, but it was the last red thing in the fridge. Five red things. Hmm. Now all George needed was a special ingredient. Ah. <laughs> a red fish? Ah. Why not? Okay, so maybe raw fish is not a special juice ingredient. Maybe George needed more of these things. Close, but George thought more apples might help. George's juice was perfect. Well, almost. It still needed a special secret ingredient. Huh. Where could he find one of those? Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, but careful. Radishes are a little eh, speziato. That means spicy. <coughs> Radishes were spicy. But spicy might be good in a drink. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Help yourself, Georgie. Just the radishes? Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> George hoped that one radish would do the trick. George had done it. His juice was just as good as Juicy J's. Better even. George! Oh, no. Oh, have you been making juice? <laughs> mm. Oh, oh my goodness, this juice is amazing! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! George thought his juice was so delicious, he decided to give it away at the next farmer's market. Get your George juice. It's made with apples for strong bones, cabbage for vitamin C, and a bunch of other healthy stuff. Thanks. Oh, this is fantastic. Can I get the recipe? Sure. George started with your juice, but added a few new ingredients. <laughs> a radish? Oh, that is brilliant. A revolution in juice making. To George and his delicious George juice. Yeah! <laughs> Why, thank you, Hundley. I have to run this upstairs. Keep an eye on things for me, will ya? Woo woo! Doggy! <laughs> a toddler and his toy clown were no match for a lobby dog. Look, Dylan. Hundley brought your toy. <laughs> thank you, Hundley. Uh-oh. <laughs> George could mess up a lobby faster than 10 toddlers with toys. <laughs> there was only one thing a door dog could do. Return that toy, and fast. <laughs> Which, to George, looked exactly like a game of tag. Oh, <laughs> 
George couldn't figure out why Hunley didn't want to play tag anymore. It was Dylan's toy. One thing Yoki couldn't resist, it was a toy clown. Three cases of olive oil, twenty crates of tomatoes, and uh, hello, my little Nyokarina. <laughs> what do you have there? A clown? Oh, so cute. Now, don't chew it all to pieces, okay? I must keep my basement tidy. Hey! <laughs> Hundley had better rescue that clown fast. Ten sacks of potatoes! <laughs> 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 I forget to buy the garlic. Oh? Now, what kind of a chef forgets his garlic? <sighs> Gotta go back to the store. Hunley might be a door dog, but he wasn't very good at door knobs. <laughs> Fortunately, monkeys are excellent door openers. Unless the door is locked. George's ramps worked. Leapy <laughs> Linguini! <laughs> what did you do to my basement, Giorgio? <laughs> Dylan and his mom were back. <laughs> Hundley had to hurry. <laughs> Yoki didn't know what was going on, but it sure looked like fun. Oh. <laughs> Hundley? We've lost this forever. Look, Dylan. Clowny! <laughs> you are the best door dog. <laughs> Another job well done. Well, almost done. Ready to hear this? Are you ready? It's kind of unbelievable, and I don't think you'll even believe it. So, are you ready? <laughs> okay, I am going to kindergarten! Yeah! Huh? Kindergarten is where you go when you're big, and you need to learn stuff like how to write your name in 8 plus 2. And I want you to come with me to get all my school tools. So can you come? Can you come? Uh -huh. It was a good thing George went shopping with Allie because she needed a monkey's eye. Okay, which backpack? The lion, the witch, or the warthog? Hmm. Ah! Yeah, that's the one I wanted too because it holds the most stuff. See, in kindergarten, you need exactly three rulers and a cowboy belt, and binoculars, 
and pipe cleaners. Wow, kindergarten sure sounded like fun. Where else would you need three rulers and a cowboy belt? Guess what? These are two for one. Ooh. Would you like a backpack, George? <laughs> the next day, George wondered how Allie was doing in kindergarten. <laughs> George! Ah. Ah. Kindergarten was great, and guess what? I told my teacher I was best friends with a monkey, and she said you could come to school with me tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you'll be our official guest monkey. That's right. So today, let's share some of our favorite movements. Allie, would you like to start? Oh, yes. My favorite movement is a forward, back bend, walk over handstand. It's my favorite, except I can't actually do it. That was lovely. <laughs> George, what kind of movements do you like to make? <laughs> Careful, George, not so. It's all right, George. I know it was an accident. We'll fix it later. Now, castles weren't just for kings and queens. Butlers, maids, cooks, and carpenters lived in them, too. Lots of people lived in castles. Oh, I've always thought it would be fun to live in a castle, high on a hill overlooking the ocean. In fact, I would like each of you to draw a castle that you would like to live in. Hmm. Hey. George had an idea. Instead of drawing a castle, why not build one? Mm. A castle for Mrs. Gold to live in. Oh, ah. Yes, well, thank you. That was most informative. I'm sure it will look... <gasps> oh, my! It was George's idea, but we helped. When you said a castle, you meant a, a castle. Oh, this is wonderful. It's amazing what you can do when you use your imagination and work together and have a monkey to help you. Oh. <laughs> Yay for George! Yay for George! It was good being a guest monkey. But it was also good being a plain old regular monkey on his way home. <laughs> Charky, please. If this falls, it'll break. She knows what it is. She can smell it. <laughs> See? Bath oils in my favorite glass bottles. Oh, Charky just loves their aroma, don't you, girl? Charky didn't want to break anything. She just wanted a whiff. George still couldn't smell it. I'd better hide these really well. If she gets her paws on them, I'll have bath oil all over the place. <laughs> Charky even smelled it through the door. That dog had one powerful nose. Oh no, he didn't deliver my second package. If the delivery man returns, could you set the package inside for me? <laughs> Thanks, George. I'll be back soon. <laughs> I forgot to deliver the lady's other package. Is she still there? 
You can accept it? Uh-huh. Oh, thanks. Uh, can you sign right here? This must have been more of that easy-to-break stuff. George couldn't smell it. But Charky sure seemed to. Sharky was the fastest runner, but she couldn't resist a puddle. <laughs> Hiya, George. How you doing? <laughs> I think Charky never got tired of chasing her toys. <laughs> With all these boxes, how would George ever find the right one? George, uh, did my package arrive? <laughs> George was proud to give Aunt Margaret her package, safe and sound. Well, I see you took good care of it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, easy, girl. After I left, I remembered what was in this box. You didn't have to protect this one from Charky. <laughs> These are the new dog toys I ordered for her. <laughs> this was the greatest ending to the greatest game Charky had ever played. All thanks to George. George had seen a lot of strange things in his day, but this was strange. Well, I see you two have met. George, this is my granddaughter, Allie. Oh. <laughs> Are you a monkey? I like monkeys. Do you want to play tomorrow? <laughs> Allie's a spark plug, but if there's anyone who can keep up with her, it's you, George. Oops, um, don't forget about tomorrow. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bright and early the very next morning. <sighs> Hiya, George. Huh? That man with the yellow pants, he said I could go see if you're awake. Are you awake? <sighs> uh-huh. <laughs> Finally! Oh, you were sleeping forever! So, you know what I want to do today? Monkey stuff! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wait, don't monkeys go out the window? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> My rats. All that morning, George showed Allie monkey stuff, like how to eat strawberries ah. with your feet. 
Whoops. <laughs> how to swing on a rope. How to sound like a full percussion section in an orchestra. George! And how to blow bubbles with an extra big monkey breath. I'm going to the store. Do you want anything, George? Did you know that monkeys can blow bubbles longer than anybody? <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. How about you, Allie? You need anything from the store? Oh, yes. Um, a flying trapeze. And a walkie-talkie, please. Um, I'll see what I can do. I love squirrels. <laughs> Oops. You live in that tree? Uh-huh. Hey, let's go see. Race ya. I think this hole is his house. Oops, I can't see anything. Do you have special see in the dark monkey eyes? Uh-uh. Oh, we need a flashlight. Oh, I know. I have one in my room. I'll go get it. Oops. Except, how do I get down? Hmm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, only I can't really do that, because I'm not an actual monkey. So, how would a non-actual monkey get down from a tree? out of rope, George. Hey! <gasps> Look what you did, George! <laughs> Woohoo! Finally! <laughs> hey! Let's do it again. Huh? Hey, it's Mr. Yellow Pants! Did you get me the flying trapeze? Sorry. The store doesn't carry circus equipment for some reason, but... I found these. Oh, walkie-talkies. Oh, I have to show my grandmother. Bye-bye. I'll call you later. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy dreams. <laughs> Allie calling George. Allie calling George. <laughs> Allie calling George. Over. Clearly, this was the start of a beautiful and curious friendship. And we go hot. And when the squirrel comes in to 